right guys, we're out here at Tulsa Raceway Park. Uh, I haven't been up here in probably like 10 years or something like that. We're out here with the uh, ZL1 that we were working with the other day with uh, Nick from PTS Fab. So this thing's got new heads and different injectors. And we're gonna try to see if it's gonna be possible but we might be going for a 6th gen Camaro record today. So it's all going to depend on what this thing turned out to weigh. We, get, we have an idea of how much power we're going to be able to support uh, safely. And if that power matches up with the weight that we hope it is, then we might be able to actually kind of push it and go for that record. So right now the record is, I think, 803. If that's wrong, I'll you know post it up top. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, basically, we're just going to go for a 7.99, seven anything, and we'll be happy because that's obviously the record, and you know, we're not going to try to go for like 8.01 just to get the record, and then somebody's going to go out and just get it again. We want to get it with a little bit of, you know, cushion. So that's what we got going on today. Um, it's really windy. It's really cold. Uh, the guys have already sprayed the track a couple of times, and you know, already we realize it's going to kind of be a struggle to keep the surface around for us. So. This first one's going to be a little bit of a shakedown and, uh, you know, just make sure that feeling and everything is good with the different heads and the different injectors. I took a stab at it. Uh, this is the one that is on both HP Tuner and Holly, so we're going to have another guy that's working the HP Tuner part of it. I'm not familiar with it. I don't really have a desire to become familiar with it, so uh, that side of the program is being done by somebody else to control the direct injection part of it. Holly is controlling the ignition portion of it and the secondary fuel system. So yeah, we got it started up. Uh, Nick's gonna go and warm it up, get the tranny, get a little bit of heat in the tranny, try to go and weigh it. We think they have some scales. Um, we're hoping it's like right around 4,000 pounds, but we got a bad feeling that it's probably around 4,300. And if it's 4,300, we're gonna need more power than we probably want to put through this thing. So either way, we wanna just make sure that we get the car sorted out because uh, you know, hopefully if all goes well, the customer's gonna take it home today. So. Let's get to it, we'll see how it goes. You can take it to however long you want. I mean, we probably only need 330 for this. Um, but yeah, at least let it go through a couple gears. Where that wet spot was. I told him that tank. <clears throat> no, okay, yeah. We should have staggered him. Is this wet prep or is this? Oh, yeah, that's just shiny prep. Okay. But that, yeah, that's water. Yeah. I wonder if it, when it slot or when it uh, sloshed out. It. Yeah. I'll go check the tanks in the back. Yeah, because it's all. Yeah. That, I see what you're talking about right there. That. What would that be from in the back? The there's a, yeah, there's a water to air back oh. there. All right, so that first one, it lit the tires. Um, it's pretty, it's, it's a little rough at the start. There was a lot of prep right there and I don't think it's really kind of done its thing because it's so cold. So it was like really, really shiny right there. And then also as it stepped out, it looks like the, there was like some water that leaked from the car. We'll definitely have to be more aware of that on the next one. Probably stagger him off of where he was right there. Just like one tire length off. Cause yeah, right there where it was, it looks like they had a lot of prep laid down to try to make it sticky, but it's it's too cold to lay that much prep down in one spot. So we'll see, we'll have to soften up the start. It was so lazy when it got out there because when it did light the tires, it went ahead and shifted. So it was just gonna be in second or third gear.
so obviously we're not at the track anymore. Um, didn't go the way that we wanted it to go. Um, had the same problem that we had the last time out, that front, uh, well, that front crank seal, or front cover seal, or whatever. Um, started leaking a decent amount of oil out of it, um, so we're gonna have to take a look at that again. That pretty much stops us from being able to continue each time, so gotta figure that out. Um, something just may be wrong with that bottom end. This bottom end has a lot of other pulls uh, on a previous setup on it. Um, so yeah, we'll have to dig into that a little bit more. So kind of a bummer. We didn't get um, that much info and uh, obviously didn't get to go for the record yet. But what we did see from that is actually really encouraging. The amount of power that it made on such a low boost. Because um, on that one, we left like super lazy. We only let it make like, like five pounds or something on launch control. And then the rest of the run was like eight pounds. We're just trying to like get an A to B um, and get some data on the new injectors. And uh, yeah, so at, at the mile an hour that it went was actually kind of encouraging. So we'll see how it goes. We just gotta get it get it completely sorted out and we'll be good. But <laughs> um, <laughs> that's been zero for a while. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I hope it is because we're about to be out of diesel. So I'm not too sure. We're like in this long stretch that there's no gas stations for a really long time. So we're probably, I mean, like I think if we were both betting, we would bet on we're running out of fuel. So I'm surprised we haven't. I know, so far. Yeah, I, I mean, it's been like that for what, I like 10 only, minutes of driving? Yeah, yeah, I've only taken that like a couple of miles and been like, oh, oh my God, God, we made it. Yeah, nice. but like, we've got a lot. I mean, Dodge gave us some, some leeway, I guess. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. That was it. That was it. <laughs> Shit. That was all she wrote. See, you shouldn't have said anything. Uh, you shouldn't have got out the camera. That's, well, that's true. Okay, so we're out of diesel, at least to the point where we don't want to have the vehicle, like, running anymore. Oh, yeah, you got no brakes now, too, huh? Good enough spot. Not I that we, not that like we have a choice. The very top of the hill, just in case people come flying over. Top of the. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I mean, the flat is probably good here. That's <laughs> fucking terrifying. This is not good. Alright, so. Hang on one sec. I'm trying to stop it. Yeah. I'm pushing as hard as I can. Are you really? You got like that man bear, man yeah. bear pig yeah. strength too? Yeah. Okay. We have made it. We're home. Yep. Except We're not. like an hour and a half from home in the middle. Like the nearest gas station I think is 15 miles now. Probably somewhere around there. The good news is we have a working vehicle sitting in the trailer. Leaks a little oil. Whenever we get Leaks a little. Well, as long as we're not, you know, railing on it. it oh, it I'm pulling it out should of here be fine. and launching it. Oh, Look at that fine okay. well, it's, gonna leak a little oil. Um, it's probably gonna leak a little oil in that scenario then. Yeah. So where was the nearest? Uh, like 15 miles. Why don't diesels run on E85? That'd be awesome, right? I can't believe they haven't, put, they haven't figured that out. Can we just hook up to it and make it run on another fuel? Do you have the pump gas switch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so where was the nearest one? Oh yeah, it says 9.1. Oh yeah, same thing. I see, I see, I see. Mine just didn't refresh. All right. Well, uh, ten mile drive ain't bad for that. That's thing. not terrible. Yeah. No. That'd be cool. That'd be fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, it kind of has to be. We have no other choice. <laughs> I've walked ten miles. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I guess that was. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm in shorts. Yeah. That's twenty miles. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I haven't ran out of fuel in a long time. What well, happens when you think you filled it up and you didn't? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Though, and that's the one time that I didn't even look either. Like, yeah. Just, it. I saw the trigger was up. I'm like, all right, cool, we're full. Send it. Wrong. Irresponsible. I know. All right, cool. Well, I guess let's There's unload it. There's a just going to jump out. You should get oh. on the camera. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get that subscribers that somehow. Was, that was encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see some followers? Watch this. It's rough out there for sub 8,000. Take it for a little cruise. Yeah. 
Yeah, we didn't run out of gas. We were just doing some uh, yeah, some just, drivability. We're just doing some meal prepping. Yeah. Okay. Is it on? Yeah, you can close it. Just take that towel off. All right. Damn, you're right. Those things are soaked. Full blown streetcar. I know. Check out the views. Hey, all right. oil. That's all that's wrong. Well, I'm, just, I'm just making sure. I don't know. I'm trying to think ahead. Oh, fuck you. All right. Let's see how bad we are here. Or if we're bad. I don't think any new shit came out. Really? I don't think so. So we didn't explain. This all happened because at the last gas station we were supposed to fill up the truck. They like flagged his card because you know it's the last purchase he had was in Texas, and then he goes to Oklahoma. So um, they freaked out about it, and so it stopped the transaction. Well, he thought it was full, so he just pulled the pump out, and we went on our merry way, and we didn't even look at anything. But uh. Yeah, it, it wasn't full. <laughs> I guess we'll be coming right back here. We? Yeah, yeah. Or we can see how far we can five dollars. Maybe don't do that. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that parachute back there. Yeah. Yep. Must be a fast runner, dude. It's not bad. Right now, it's getting us back to our trailer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ran out of fuel in the wrong vehicle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the battery. Yeah. Man, it's cool. There we go. You got a flashlight? I mean, it's not really wet anymore. Oh, good. Yeah. I think we're all right. Yeah? Good? Yeah, I think we're all right. Okay.
this car have a name? Thank you, sir. No problem, sir. I had to rig up a headlight. Oh. Ugh. Shh, shh, shh. What? Coyotes? Coyotes. Oh. Like... Ooh. Yeah, really? Super close? Uh, ish. Hmm. I'll knock him out. Oh, yeah, you actually buckled that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. ah, you never know what'll happen. Like, we get into a crash or something, I'd rather be, like, you know, dead without diesel all over me. You want to fill up? I'll start loading? Yeah. Ooh, give me. Side is on. The danger side. Oh, good. <laughs> no wonder you just told me to do it. I see whose life is expendable. I'll turn the cab lights on. Okay. That'll turn the trailer lights on. All right, well, obviously, we made it back to the trailer. And... Cars in one piece, the trailer's still here, the truck wasn't stolen, but now I gotta get fuel in it. On the dangerous side. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, oh yeah, not a whole lot of room there. Oh boy. And a big old semi. Not a fan. All right, we'll wait for that dude to go by. Get this prepped. I believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were worried? I wasn't worried at all. Yeah, I was a little worried. <laughs> ah. I got a little worried on that second Ouch. try. <laughs> a whole 18. Oh, 20. Now we gotta pay those tolls again. Yeah, I mean, how far did we go with that? Hmm. Was that at zero? Well, that, dude, that's a while. Like 10 miles, 15 miles. Oh, more, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Uh, that's a wrap? I hope. <laughs> what did we get? Oh, we got 44 miles? Yeah, we got 40 miles. Cool, we'll so we should be able to make it like 10. Yeah, well, we only have to go. It wasn't very far. So I hopefully, don't even go that far, nothing though. else. What do you mean? Because when we have to get back on, we have to pay the toll again. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, we can go further. All right. Well, let's check first what the closest yeah. gas station is. Because that town... Oh, sorry. Episode. Jeez, so rudely interrupted. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully. If anything else happens, we'll probably put it in the next video. But, uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe. Do all that normal stuff. Share this with a friend. And I guess we'll see you on the next one, which will hopefully be... Not on the side of the road. Not on the side of the road, yeah. Not taking a race car to go get fuel for the tow car. And, uh, you know, hopefully some racing, but worst case scenario, I think we'll be doing some work on the El Camino, and then the following week, we'll be going to pick up a new truck. Um, I'm not going to say what it's for or what it is just yet, but you'll see that soon. I'm pretty excited about it. So, all right, see you next time.